So what you're about to see is me fixing my bin. I've got one of those wave your hand over the top bins and it opens up and then it closes. It's been rattling for a while and it's been on and off temperamental working, not working for a while. And suddenly today it gave up the ghost. So we'll have a look at how I approached that. Um, I wasn't originally going to video it because I was thinking I've got no chance of fixing this. And then as I looked inside, I thought, you know what? I think I've got a chance. So just in case I succeed, I'll film it. And... Uh, has succeeded so enjoy the video. Hi Rob the Fruglist here this is my attempt at fixing a one of these automatic bin lids. Uh, I love this toy this is a little bit of a thing I get geeked out at you put your hand over it it automatically pops up like this and then uh, it drops down afterwards. Um, unfortunately mine stopped working. Um, it was going a bit strange for a while it rattled as well and I've just been taking it apart to try and see what's going on. I think I've got somewhere, but it's still not working. So if I uh, turn it on now, <laughs> you can see that it just it whimpers. And these are fairly fresh batteries on it. Um, and uh, I'll show you where I'm looking. Okay, I've taken all the screws out, which are essentially holding all this together zoom out a bit and in doing so you can see the battery casings there it's a bit grimy I will clean it before if I actually get it fixed and what you can see here is the motor and you've got the spring setting there uh, you can see the cables come around and there's the sensor and I've managed to unscrew in all these different areas so we can take a closer look and what I've discovered was this bit here is what it's pivoting against. I don't know if you can see that. And what I found was the there was a screw rattling around and it's the other side of that. So I've put the screw in, stuck it back in, it still doesn't work. And I think I've put it in the wrong angle. So I'm going to change the angling of that um, somehow. I need to get into the other side of this thing, um, which is round the back there. Um, and uh, look at unscrewing that resetting it and putting it in because at the moment you can almost see it's at a bit of a different angle i'm going to try and change the angling so it's up so effectively i don't know if it's changing the gearing but changing where it is in the gears i've taken a couple of pictures of this so i can remember how it started if you ever take this stuff apart it's always worth taking a picture of it but uh, this here is a clip that's unclipped hopefully yeah it is you've got to be careful um have a soldering iron ready just in case these fall apart but basically now i've got a little bit more access to this fella over here i'm going to try and unscrew it and put it back at a different angle i have to be prepared for the fact that this could be dead but so if i use my thumb and manipulate it out a bit which is worrying it's quite firm and i can actually get access to the screw underneath there can see there that second screw there I'm going to try and get access to that and unscrew it and reset it so that this here is seated under a different tooth there you go you can see I've got access to that now so I'm going to unscrew those have a go Well, now I've got it to close, but I can't, I can't quite get it to open. The gearing's further wrong, it needs to sort of close and open. So I've got it too far in one direction, I think. Let's see. It's 
spotted these two things which sit right behind there and so if I was to uh, turn it on oh. so that seems to be closed so that's open it's closed and it opens up again oh, that's because I've got the camera over it so this is closed It seems to default to open. So that's open. That's closed. And it goes back to open. So I think something needs to force it. Oh, that's closed. Why is it doing that? I need to think about this. Every time I turn this on, it does a reset. On, off. Open, closed. So I need to figure out where to put it on that setting. And if I just do open, turn it off, it will keep going. So it's not precious about where it is in the whole thing. So I just need to figure out where the right level is. Hang on, if it keeps doing that when I turn it on, then it shouldn't matter where that is. I should just be able to calibrate it by switching it on and off. So I'm going to have a go at that. Oh, there's one button. Off. Works. Yay! So, um, yeah, it's working. So we fixed something. That is no longer landfill. That goes back in the kitchen once I've done an intensive deep clean because it is currently filthy. Uh, can I explain how I did that? Um, not easily. I broke it a couple of times. Everything that went wrong includes this bit of plastic here, which is part of the lid and um, just broke off. Uh, you would have also known that a couple of the wires uh, actually came off. So I needed to solder them back with a soldering iron there. Um, and in doing so, I wasn't very careful and melted a bit of the plastic, but it's not an area that anyone will notice or see. Um, I'm an amateur at this, so I'm always gonna make mistakes. The main thing is, don't give up. I was I was this close to giving up thinking I've just screwed it up now. But actually, um, I have my last go. If this doesn't work, it, you know, I don't know what to do. And it worked. So, um, fortunately, it's all good. Hopefully that's helped anyone else who's got this bin to fix it. But also, um, if you've got a fairly simple appliance, you can give it a go. And you never know, you might be able to fix it. Just persevere and uh, try and look at what's going on. And you should be able to figure it out. It's not rocket science. 